This is Head Harvester Bill Arman from the West Coast. And Head Harvester Ed LaFlam from the East Coast. And you know what? The weather is just as good as the East Coast as it is in sunny California now. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, you, you can see it's pretty nice right now, it is, isn't it? it? Is, Here we it are, is. beautiful San Diego, California. Wow. So HR 911, the Big Ten, we've been, it's a big, the theme for the next two months. Right. And so today's, this week's topic, we want to talk a little bit about build a better employee handbook. Now this is a big topic. People all think they all think they have a great handbook, right? It's all in place. They're doing great, and the reality is they're not. So number one, here's here's some tips. We got four or five tips for you. One, you should take a good look at your employee handbook and have an audit by a professional HR person. Revise it and audit it each and every year, once a year. Okay, let's do that one. Second one, delete problematic phrases like permanent employee, cause. Uh, progressive discipline. There's some phrases that you want to eliminate from your employee handbook because they really can get you into trouble. And we can help you with this if you have any questions on that. So what's some more tips you have yeah. for employee and, handbook? And so Bill just mentioned uh, to make sure that you you know audit the handbook every year because the laws keep changing. So they should be reissued to your people every year. We suggest January. So give it give it to your employees. They sign a receipt that they they received it. Put the date on it. You put that in their file, okay? Then, then you're you're clear on that. And of course, it would be helpful too if you told them what's a, what some of the new laws would be, right? That'd be helpful. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Then uh, the next thing is the independent contractors who may be working for you. They're not going to get this because they're not entitled to it. They're not employees. So only the any any temporary employees or subcontractors don't get the handbook, okay? So that's our that's our tips for uh, today. That's the employee handbook. Now go out there and harvest your potential with a great employee handbook. Absolutely. We'll see you everything. next session next week.